One of the things that makes our job difficult here at The Scathing Atheist is just how hard it is to exaggerate when it comes to how disgusting the political goals of the Christian right have become. I mean, honestly, if you listen back to archives, the hyperbolic examples we used seven or eight years ago are indistinguishable from the actual shit that they say today. And if you have any doubt about that at all, I present as Exhibit A, Christina Caramo, the Republican candidate for Secretary of State in Michigan. Now, she hasn't gotten much national press because there's no shortage of batshit theocrats on state ballots this year. And the Secretary of State for America's 10th largest state just isn't high enough in the pecking order to matter much. But rest assured that she's one of the worst in terms of dangerous conspiracy theorists. She's endorsed the Trump's election lies. She claimed that the January 6 rioters were Antifa disguised as Trumpers. And according to court records, she once threatened to murder her family. And as if that wasn't plenty of a reason not to vote for her, we learned from Vice this week that she also claims Democratic elites drink blood and traffic in the body parts of aborted fetuses. So yeah, a couple years ago, she was apparently on a podcast called Red Pill News, where she endorsed some straight up next level conspiracy theories. Like it wasn't enough to say that Planned Parenthood sold body parts. She went all the way to sold body parts to Democratic lawmakers who consumed them to stay young. She's also made deleting her old transphobic and homophobic social media post into a full-time job ever since it started looking like she had a shot at winning elected office. But she's hardly the only person straining our collective powers of exaggeration right now. When Representative Eric Swalwell of California's 15th District put out an ad that depicted the nightmare world Republicans are after where women get arrested for having abortions, preacher Joe Jones of the Shield of Faith Baptist Church in Boise, Idaho, complained that it didn't go far enough. Sure, he wants women arrested and punished for exercising their reproductive rights, but he doesn't want to stop there. He also thinks, quote, abortion doctors should be put to death. The government should take them and slice them up. Not with a pizza, okay? Actually put them to death, end quote. So yeah, set aside how disturbing it is that his immediate association with people getting sliced to pieces is pizza, it's still a pretty fucked up thing to say. And for those of you who would accuse me of taking all of my examples from the extremes, I want to add one last story that comes to us from no fewer than 700 Southern Baptist pastors who are calling on the Southern Baptist Convention to officially ban women from serving as pastors in any SBC-affiliated churches. Now, to be clear, you could spend the rest of your life looking for a female pastor at an SBC church without ever finding one. This isn't a thing that's happening in the world. But since when has something had to exist for Christians to be afraid of it? So even amid all the negative press they're currently getting over the federal investigation into their sexual harassment responses, they're focused on getting he-man women haters written into their bylaws. So with yet another reminder of just how much job security I have, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.